everyone, welcome back to Super Jerry 27's Nerd Cave, where I talk about comic books, video games, social commentary, occasionally the action figure, uh, but my two huge passions are video games and comic books. Uh, unfortunately, YouTube likes video games more, so I talk about them a little bit more than I do my beloved comic books, but I still love you. Uh, so I have noticed on my analytics that about 78% of you who are watching, which I thank you, are not subscribed to my channel. So if you could go ahead and subscribe, click the little bell, you'll be notified every Monday and Friday are new videos and every now and then a Wednesday video appears. It's like a shiny Pokemon. But you're not here to listen to that. You're here to see five more Xbox 360 games stuck on the system. Part six. So let's start off with a licensed game, which is uh, why it's stuck there. Plus the uh, developer, no, oh, not the developer, but the uh, publisher is no longer with us. That is the Born Conspiracy. Um, this game is okay. Uh, it's trapped because it's a Jason Bourne title. It's Sierra, but it was made by High Moon Studios, which kind of surprised me because I believe, hopefully I'm correct, that uh, High Moon Studios did the amazing Transformers War for Chi Cybertron and Fall of Cybertron games. But uh, this game takes place in the Bourne universe of the book. You do not look like little teeny tiny Matt Damon. And uh, it's okay. Like, now, now I'm to the point, I'm at the games that are like, eh. If you got them, cool. If not... Uh, I mean, this is fun. I'd rather play, um, oh my god, Alpha Protocol, to be honest with you. Alpha Protocol is a little more polished, oddly enough. And I'd really rather play Rockstar's missing game that's trapped in fucking development hell, Agent, but we'll never see that. Because they're just going to melt Grand Theft Auto 5, 6, and uh, Red Dead Redemption 2 like a fucking stuck cow. But, uh, yep, you pay as Jason Bourne. It takes place... This is... Oh, fuck. When does it take place? They made you the perfect weapon. Now they want you dead. Seamlessly switch from hand-to-hand -hand combat. Shooting and dramatic escapes in this intense, fast-paced action experience. Confront your past as deadly Treadstone Assassin to uncover what you know... What made you malfunction... Wait. Assassin to uncover what made you malfunctioning government property on the run. Go beyond the Jason Bourne you know. So I think this takes place, like, in between, like... It shows, like, the water, and you're getting shot at and shit, like, at the beginning of the first movie. But I really don't think it has any ties to it. I bet you it has more ties to the books that I probably won't read, because I remember buying them from my mom, and she says these books were boring as fuck. So, yes, The Born Conspiracy by Robert Ludlum. Ludlum, Ludlum. Up next is a game that you probably could have purchased on Wish, uh, if you like Gears of War, and that is Inversion. Now, I'm not very far in this game, I will admit, because it's it's that it's got that look you'll see in the you know the the footage that's on screen right now. It's just that gray toned cover based shooter, and it has almost the exact same controls as Gears of War minus the reload button. And honestly, I'm so not far in this game. I haven't even got to use the uh, the gravity system shit yet. Maybe that's what'll sell me on the game. But as of right now, this game stuck on the 360 PS3. And it's only, you know, it's not that great. I mean, I, I don't know. It is Gears of War bought on Wish or Temu or, you know, the Biden version, the, the Biden administration's version of Gears of War. You know, it's that shitty. Another licensed game, but I love these movies. And this game is fun, uh, even though it's a little, little janky. And that is Saw. Would you like to play a little game? Uh, this one, you play as... Oh, fuck. I forgot his name. He's too old for this shit, Riggs. Oh, my God. Danny Glover. You play as Danny Glover's part in this copy of the game, or this sequence of the game, made by Konami. This has a sequel as well, which we'll talk about in another video. But uh, this it's fun. Like it's it, The controls suck. Like any game where you have to hold down a trigger to get into action mode to beat the fuck out of some drug-addled degenerate with a fucking lead pipe, I don't like. But, I mean, it's creepy. Um, these are fun games. They're, they're really starting to get pricey, which is unfortunate. But they are fun licensed games. Like, if you love the movies, if you love horror, if you want something to sit and play in Halloween that's only five months away, it'll go like fucking that. 
uh, pick these up. They're fun. This one's fun. I really, I'm enjoying it. I got back into it. I'm working on it because you got to remember the controls and stuff. But some of the traps they have in here, some of them are the movie traps, and some of them are for the game only, and they're brutal. I would like. I remember uh, my dad always used to say, "Never get kidnapped. Have them shoot you in the fucking street." And and if you watch Saw, that's why. Never get kidnapped. I'd rather almost be rescued or die on the street than be fucking tortured. That's just me. I mean, uh, I'd rather do. Yeah, it's just how I am. Now, this is not a licensed game. It's uh, Silent Hill Downpour, once again made by Konami and trapped on the Xbox 360. <sighs> Silent Hill, I love Silent Hill. Uh, I love it. I love everything about Silent Hill. Uh, I hope to God that... Sorry, I, I'm like, fuck, cobwebs. I hope to hell that Silent Hill 2 Remake by Bloober Team is fucking amazing. I don't think it will be. Uh, I'm very scared that it's going to have that that stench of sweet baby or any of these DEI people that just want to just hate games and they hate people having fun and not having to think about anything. But this is Silent Hill downpour. Who can stop the rain? Uh, join convict Murphy Pendleton in Silent Hill where fear and torment are inescapable. I have not gotten very far into this one because when I started to play it, it was the last Silent Hill game that I hadn't played. So I was like, ah, I got to... I haven't, I've never, I haven't watched Battle of the Five Armies yet because that will be the absolute last Lord of the Rings movie I haven't seen. I'm kind of stupid like that. Um, it sucks when everything has to go, but I can play this now. Uh, it's, it's, oh, I thought I put it in my system, but I didn't. But um, I don't know. Once Konami gave Silent Hill to the West with uh, Homecoming, Downpour, Origins, the fucking weird ass remake on the PlayStation Two and Wii. It kind of went downhill. They broke up Team Silent, who were, oddly enough, the ragtag group of Konami. And they're like, here, fucking do something. Get away from us, you fucking weirdo freaks. And they gave us the first Silent Hill and the second Silent Hill. Then they kind of deviated with the third Silent Hill. Silent Hill 4 is okay. Uh, that's the only one I haven't beaten, other than Downpour. Uh, I need to beat that. I got trapped in, like, a fucking stairwell with monkeys. That's all I remember. I'll see if it's backwards compatible on my Xbox Series X. Maybe I'll stream that motherfucker. And then once again, a licensed game. But this, in a lot of people's opinion, and I believe in my opinion, is one of the best movie-based games ever. And that is Spider-Man fucking 3. Uh, I want to say this is narrated by Bruce Campbell. I don't remember. I think it is. I know the first two were Stan Lee, but I think Bruce Campbell takes this one over. And... He, God, what was oh my god the disc almost fell out okay so made by treyarch who's now just uh like a cow that pumps out fucking call of duties every year which sucks because treyarch made some good spider-man's games sorry they did this is a great game obviously it's spider-man 3 which is the weakest of the trilogy you know uh was it crying peter parker emo peter parker with the whole flip curl that was weird but uh i don't know every hero has a dark side unleash it Wield the power of black-suited Spider-Man, Battle Venom, New Goblin, Sandman, and more. Defend New York City from rooftops to subway sewers. Master all new combat moves on the Xbox 360. Choose one of ten storylines to play, including the movie's plot. Voice over by Tobey Maguire, Topher Grace, Thomas Hayden Church, and more. But, uh, yeah, I had a lot of fun with this game back in the day. It's almost 20 years old, I think. Yeah, 2007. Oh, my God, I was young and beautiful in 2007. But uh, I remember seeing this, too. I was a little disappointed. I, I think I, I took a date, and I got embarrassed at the, like, dancing Spider-Man, where he's like, hey, ladies. <laughs> Fucking stupid. But other than that, it's pretty cool. I mean, Topher Grace's Venom is just like, no, Topher Grace is a skinny little bitch. Sorry, you should have picked Howie Long. If you don't know who Howie Long is, Google him. He's still built like Venom. It's just, Dude, he's, he is Eddie Brock in the flesh, hopefully... He still looks like that, but I doubt we'll love... I mean, Tom Hardy's Venom now. Eh. Eh. But anyway, this is a great game. And uh, what's really weird is I have the PlayStation 2 version as well. And the PlayStation 2 version is a completely different game. Like, they built two different games. And I love back in the day for that because you got unique experiences. I miss my youth. But uh, that's five more Xbox 360 games slash... PS3 games that are stuck 
on the system. Let me know if I missed any. This seems to be a really long series on my YouTube, but I'm enjoying it. Uh, there will be a seven because I found five more games and I'm like, oh, but it's kind of the bottom of the barrel, kind of getting there. Like I said, I wouldn't rush out to buy Born. I would rush out to buy Saw and Spider-Man. Inversion, if you happen to see it, pick it up. But, I mean, I, I paid like 19 bucks and it came brand new. I don't know if you saw my, what do you call it, my short. But uh, like, comment, share, and subscribe. And keep firing up those Xbox 360 consoles, lads. Because new gaming sucks.